Jack had said to them, would you guys do us a favour? It's my mum's birthday. You won the league. It would be amazing. That's amazing. That's brilliant. The only one I didn't meet, annoyingly, and I still haven't met him, I still would love to meet him, is Jack. When oh, I met Hillary, yeah. I had no interest in football at all. Right. Or rugby is for posh people, yeah. and football isn't for posh people. Yeah. So I never followed a team or anything. I, I actually, I didn't go and watch rugby either. I wasn't really, <laughs> I wasn't really interested in sports. Well, like generally, cricket, didn't you? yeah, I liked a bit of old bit of cricket. Mm. And she said, "I'm sorry," Hillary said. But she was a big fan of Leicester City. Yeah. And I said, Leicester, what, the place, you mean? And she said, no, no, the football club. And I said, well, they have a football club. <laughs> and I said, yes, they do, and I support fa- them. Fair, fair point. And she <laughs> had spent yeah. your whole life supporting I have three them older brothers, point. so sport was a big part of my upbringing. I love it. So how, how come your, your, your boys support um So when Jack Arsenal. went to school, he came back with the usual age at about six. He came back and said, he had a lisp then, and he said, I'm going to support Man United. I said, no, you're not. Over my dead body, are you supporting? No Get that in way. you, Stevie. Are you a Man United? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, sorry. What are you? You're I'm West Ham, aren't you? Yeah. So, um, Can we have that voice again, Jack? What, the, Jack I'm like going to support Man United. <laughs> it's I quite said, no, camp, too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't six. remember Jack being that camp when he was I'm six. I'm going to support Man United. Yeah, it's um, more like it. So I said, no, you're not. I said... He said, oh, I'll support Leicester. I said, no, no, no. I said, that is not a cross that you need to bear, Jack. (laughs) Because at that point, we were in Division 3 or something. It was was decades of nightmares. Well, you must have had, like, Lineker around that point. Lineker was was a bit bit later on. A bit earlier, actually. A bit earlier, right. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, Lineker was probably by then in Barcelona. Right, okay. Coming to the end of his career. But um, he... So he said, well, who can I support then? I said, right, we live in London. You're supporting a London team. Mm -hmm. Now, the obvious two for Putney are Fulham, who Mm -hmm. were equally crap as Leicester, or the dreaded Chelsea, who were not Abramovich at that point. So they weren't great either. Yeah. And my father got wind of this, and he said, look, I failed with all of you. I'm sorry. I am not having my grandson supporting any other team, particularly London team, than they're going to support Arsenal. So we then took them to Highbury and they became rabid gooners. Oh. And it was a little sweet little thing they shared with him. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Although Except I, that Arsenal was shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they were then. They, they were. were. They won the du- sorry, they won the double when yeah. when Jack was about eight, nine, they won the double. Yeah, I remember but... taking him and Barney in their kit to be photographed with the FA Cup and the Premier League Cup and the charity shield. And I said to them at that point, I said just make the most of this moment, boys, because this doesn't happen very often. I'm just <laughs> yeah. telling you. Especially the is... Invincible season as well. Oh my like, God, yeah. yeah. Phenomenal. But Phenomenal. As they got older. They became more crap. <laughs> they became more crap. So poor, you t- got I stitched them up poor with Jack that and Barney supporting. And then the year that Leicester won the, the Premier League, which mm. of course was just, uh, how mind boggling is that? That you support it's... a very small club and in your lifetime, in the you know 120 year span of their history, yeah. they win the Premier League. It was such a beautiful story, wasn't it? it? Was like 5,000 to one. Or like, yeah. I've mm. been in America before and spoke to like taxi drivers about how I support soccer yeah. and they, they all want to know about, about the Leicester. story of Leicester. Yeah, yeah it is beautiful. But so, who beat Leicester? That, they were beaten by, three, oh. by two teams, so three times. So one team beat them twice. Which West, was, was it West Ham? No. Nope. Was it not West no. Ham? Was it Arsenal? Twice. Oh, was we it? We went to the home game and I lost it big time. <laughs> I lost it. And I said to all, because we bought, the boys have tickets there and mm. we sit with the same people every week. Mm. And I literally, when that fucking goal went in <laughs> off Danny Welbeck's knee <laughs> in extra time because he, some ludicrous man in our team had, had, I can't even remember the defender's name, he'd come on as a sub and had fouled someone. Right. When it bounced in off Danny Welbeck's knee, I said, I hope you're all freaking pleased when Tottenham win the freaking league. <laughs> 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 freaking stolen it from us. <laughs> and I had to, oh, you I cried crying. for two hours. <laughs> uh, we went to yeah. a restaurant down the road here, the Bellinger, where they mm. gave us free champagne because I was in such a state. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. But but Michael, you, you, don't, you don't have a football team or are you Leicester by default? No, I'm Leicester. Oh, I said... Yeah. 
I, if I was going to support a team, I would right. support Leicester. And I have. Yeah. And apart from that one occasion, they have been pretty shit. FA Cup. <laughs> so they nice won the FA Cup on my actual 60th birthday. Yes. They won the FA Cup. Oh, when Tielemann scored the banger. Yes. We yeah. were at your house. Yeah. yeah. Do you, you remember uh, that party that we went to? The surprise for you. So Jack... Jack, so the end just of the to show how sweet Jack is, when mm. we're rude about him and doing his lisp, mm. we love him really. Mm. But he organised this. So yeah, so I was, I was off. I, one, I didn't bet. I, I, I didn't take the five thousand to one because I thought you can't bet on your own. T- I'll ruin it. And mm-hmm. then at Christmas, I looked. It was two thousand to one, and I thought, I still can't risk it because they won't win. Yeah. And I was also offered tickets by a friend of ours to the last game of the season, home game, which was Everton. Right. And again, I thought. I can't take them because I can guarantee that if I take those tickets, they will not be the Premier League winners at yeah. the end of the season. Bad so, omen. Bad omen. Mm. So the actual uh, final game of the season for them was against Chelsea and Jack got some tickets for us to go to Chelsea. So off we went. It was a slightly boring one-all draw, but they were all excited to see Ranieri back. They all had a sort of guard of honour and everything. Mm-hmm. And then afterwards... We'd had lunch there. Jack had arranged a sort of, you know, we were in a sort of corporate situation. So we had lunch, watched the game. And then he said, oh, we've just got to go and we've just got to go and have a drink with someone, if that's OK. And I said, yeah, OK, fine. He said, well, we'll have to go on the tube. And I thought, well, this is a bit weird. Yeah, you get on the gone tube on the tube to this very fancy hotel. So we then got, and I thought, well, maybe he's got, I can't remember. It's called the, I think it's called the Lane. No, it's not the Lane's, no. but it's the one up by Marylebone. Right, OK. And <coughs> I thought, well, maybe he's got some of my school friends or something. Because it was literally, you know, this momentous moment. And we went into this hotel at the front. And then he said, oh, I think, I think we're going to meet them out the back, actually. So we wandered around. And there's a bar at the back, by the back door, by Marylebone Station. And he said, oh, they're not here yet. But let's just well, let's, let's order a drink. So we ordered a drink. I had a suspicion that it might be, this is your life, Michael White. <laughs> one of those people would come up. He said, then I realised that this is your life was not being made anymore. So that <laughs> um, uh, the, 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 anyway, it the, was just odd. The mm. double doors odd. opened mm. and there was a coach outside. And in walked the Leicester team. Oh, wow. So oh, I love it. They were all staying in that Schmeichel, hotel. Knows, oh. yeah. And Jack had said to them, would so you guys Casper, do us a favour? It's my mum's birthday. And you won the league. Yeah. It would be amazing. That's oh, amazing. That's brilliant. So they all... The only one I didn't meet, annoyingly, and I still haven't met him, I still would love to meet him, is Jamie Vardy. I was about to say, did you have a shot with Jamie Vardy? Because he I looks like the kind of guy that would love a shot. No, I, do you know what? That's, oh, it's on my wish list. I've got right. to meet Jamie. Vardy, if, if you're bored and you're watching this, <laughs> 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 Jamie, I need a meeting. I need a shot with you somewhere in a bar with Mr. Whitehall, ideally. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I've only played three gigs there, don't we? Ever want to go back? Yeah. Yeah. United States? Fucking hell. Yeah. We've got some beautiful people, but as a nation, they're fucking horrendous. They're also the worst. They're easily the worst dressed nation in the entire world. <laughs>